It says, Beloved, in all things I am praying that you will be prospering and that you will be continually having good health, just as your soul is prospering. So one thing that we continue to point out is that Christianity today is trained to go from event to event. And if you're going from one, one event to another event, you will never be successful. People like to go from one service, Sunday service, to another Sunday service. They like to go from one conference to another conference. Uh, and they just go from these events, event to event to event, and yet their life is falling apart. And so the key to everything is continually. So God's life, it's not an event, it's a lifestyle. It's something that continues. And so again, in this uh, verse, it says, to be continually having good health. And so let's break it down even more. So B is a command, right? So B is not an option, correct? So when it says B, that means that's what you have, that it has to be like that. There is no other way. It's not a suggestion. It's a command. So it says, be continually. And continually, how often is that? It's always, right? It's not be healthy one day, then get sick another day, then have symptoms a third day, and just be going back and forth. That's not what Jesus said. That's not what the Bible says, right? It says, be continually having good health. So the Bible commands all believers to be continually having good health. That is very clear to me. So to me, what that means is that God's will is for me to continually have good health. That is His will. And so that's why in this church we believe in divine health. Not just divine healing, if you're sick, yes, the goal is to get you healed, but our goal is to have divine health to where people don't get sick. Did Jesus ever get sick? No. Are we allowed to get sick? No. So if we are getting sick, it's illegal, it's not supposed to happen. So, but the first part is for us to realize that that's not okay. Because until you realize that that's not okay, and that's not the truth, you're not going to do anything about it. You're not going to change anything about it. And so this, everything starts with agreeing with what God's Word says before you can start uh, changing, before you'll be able to do anything about it. So, for example, like what, for me, what it used to be, I used to think that getting sick was very normal. That was part of, you know, like when the flu season came, you know, when things got cold outside, it's just a matter of time till I, get cold, till I get a cold or get a flu or get sick. If I eat something bad, I'll have a stomach ache. If I don't drink water for a long time, I'll get a headache. That was my normal expectation because that's what I was taught. That's what society teaches you, right? I mean, like when somebody says something, I mean, that's what people say, like, oh, don't, don't run outside. You know, don't forget to put on your sweater. Or don't forget to put on your hat because you're going to get sick. And so that's what we're programmed. That's what we believe. That's what society teaches us. But where does that come from? Does that come from God or does that come from the devil? You guys look very confused. You're not sure about it. This was supposed to be a freebie. I give you a freebie. It comes from the devil. That's not what God says. But most people don't even know it. I grew up my whole life for the most part and not even knowing it till recently I learned this truth and now I'm going against it. Now I'm changing that. Now my expectation is that no matter what, I am healthy. And so if I feel a symptom or something trying to come on me, I immediately rebuke it because I know that's not right. Immediately I say, no devil, that's not going to happen. All sickness, you will leave. All symptoms, you will stop. I will not get sick. I, my right is to be continually in good health. That is what my right is. And I guarantee you that if you start shifting your believing and start changing and start seeing it from what God says and start agreeing with it, that's what's going to start happening. We've seen that happen to many people. I, I'm seeing this happening in my life. 
We don't have it figured out 100%, but we're growing. We're going in that direction. I would rather see what God says, start agreeing with it, start believing with it, and even if I don't see it working 100%, but I know at least I'm lined up with the truth. And I'd rather have the truth working with me, for me, than the lies. And so it's just a matter of time till it works more and more and we get to a state where we don't get sick. And we have, we always talk about this, we have historical uh, data that shows churches that walked in this teaching for 10 to 20 years, none of their members got sick. Nobody died prematurely. Not just one person there, one person there, but their whole congregation. Because that's what they, that was what was preached to them, that's what they studied, that's what they agreed, and that's what they believed. And so I want us to start expecting the same thing. Jesus already paid the price for it. It's not something that you have to go out and do. It's not something that you have to go out and earn. It's not something to where you have to fast and pray for or, you know, or do something to, to twist God's hand to allow this to happen to you. God already spoke these words. It is already His will. It is already done. And so when somebody gets sick and they come to God and say, God, I want this and this, He says, yes, son, yes, daughter, I'm in full agreement with you. That is my will. That is what I agreed for. That is what Jesus paid the price for. And so when we agree with it, it becomes ours, and we start walking it out. And we always talk about this because we concentrate a lot on healing. And the reason we do that is because that is something that is really important to people. Everybody, most believers agree with salvation, so nobody's questioning salvation. People know that, yes, you've got to give your life to Jesus, and so they, everybody is in full agreement between most denominations on the spirit part. But when it comes to the body and to the soul, most people don't believe it. But it was a package. It's something that God provided as a whole package. And we don't have a right to choose and pick. We don't have a right to just agree with the salvation part, but not agree with, with deliverance and the healing part. Because all of that came in one package. Jesus paid the price for all of it. So it is our right to be walking in full divine health. And we, I advise everybody, do not settle for anything else. And so practically, so what do we do practically? And something that we've learned that we apply is the second that we feel a symptom coming on, we immediately go against it. That's how I overcame my headaches in the past. I would get a headache, and I would start going against it, and it would not do anything in the beginning. I'd have to fight it and fight it, but I continued to stand on what God's Word said. And as I did that, it would go away. Next time it took less time, less time, and right now it's just a matter of seconds. If I feel it, I immediately speak against it, and it doesn't start. And for the most part, it doesn't even try. Why? Because the devil, he does not like to work really hard. He's lazy. Spirit of laziness comes from the devil. He's very persistent, but he's lazy. Once he knows that the person figures out the truth, he leaves you alone. And you say, how can you say that? Well, the same thing happened to Jesus. He tried to tempt Jesus once. Jesus said, it is written. Again and again, Jesus said, second and third time, it is written, it is written. And what did the devil do? It says he departed from him. Why? Because he knew that there's no point. And so as he is, so are we in this world. And so we're supposed to compare everything to Jesus. Whatever happened with Jesus is supposed to happen with us. We're supposed to study in what Jesus did agree with what God's Word says about us, and the same things will start happening in our life. Isn't it good news? Yeah. Doesn't sound like it. Yes. <laughs> Is it good news? Yes. Praise God. I think it's really good because I hate sickness. I hate pain. I hate anything that's of the devil. And so I will fight really hard against it. Why? Because I don't want it in my body. I want to be healthy. I'm expecting that my body is not going to age. All of my organs, everything's inside of me is going to be renewed and it's going to get stronger and better. 
That's my expectation. That's what I choose to believe because that's what God says. It says, be continually having good health. Continually. That is consistent all the time. And that is our goal. Amen? Amen. So repeat after me. Father, Father, I thank you you that your word word is the ultimate truth. truth. I choose choose to believe believe what you said. You said, said, be continually continually having having good health. I agree with that truth. And I choose choose to be continually continually in good health. health. 